Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Alia, which today is more like the handstands guy because we'll be talking about handstands and I'll be showing you why you can't find your freestanding balance without a wall, without anything, all right? But before I start, let me remember that if you want to work on your handstands, if you're struggling to hold your handstand, I can help you with my online coaching program where we, we're gonna make a program together and I can provide you weekly video feedbacks, all right? If you want to start your program you can have a free call with me by clicking on the link in the description down below all right now with that said let's start all right guys so if you are working on your handshakes and you are kicking up and you're struggling to find your balance in this video we're gonna analyze one of the major possible mistakes you're doing all right so what I want to talk about is the way you are kicking up into the handstand. Because when you hold the handstand, you are just holding. But when you kick up, when you mount into the handstand, you're not just holding. You are moving your body and you have to stop your body in a clear way to hold the handstand. Now, there are two main ways, of course, now we're gonna talk about two main ways to mount into a handstand. The, mo the most common way, which is why people, in my opinion, just struggle to understand how to hold the handstand in the first years, in the first months that they practice, is this. So they try to put the hands down and they close the legs together real quick. So they do something like this. So they start here, all right? And they try to do something like this, all right? They try to do something like this. They want to bring both legs together real fast because they want to catch the position. But let me tell you that this kind of kick up is not optimal because it's not giving your body enough time to understand the position and to find the balance. You may be lucky, of course, you may be lucky and you may hit the position and then hold that, but it, it's like kicking and praying. Oh, I pray, I, let me stay there. But we don't wanna do that. We wanna create something that we can do over and over and over again, all right? So now I'm gonna show you the way I learned my handstand and the way I teach handstands and the way I learned at handstand school, all right? So what we wanna do is this. We do wanna start with the hands on the floor. All right, so we wanna place the hands on the floor and then we wanna bring one leg up, all right? Only one leg. The other leg follows and we're gonna uh, like separate our legs, all right? Creating like an L shape. Maybe closer than an L, wider than an L. It depends on your flexibility. But you do wanna find the balance with your legs apart. Because uh, like, uh, have you ever seen like the people who, who try to balance on a little thing, they spread the hands apart, they spread the arms apart, because in th that way they can balance better with the limbs, all right? And the same goes here. When you bring your legs up, if you like widen your legs, you're gonna be able to find the balance better. So. Hands on the floor, like this. Now, you do wanna kick up with one leg straight. The other leg bends and then straightens, like this. So you do wanna do this. And the movement is created by this leg, which does a swing, and this leg, which pushes away the floor, all right? So you do wanna start with your shoulders above your hands, like this, all right? And from this position here, you want to practice something like this. Bring one leg up and come back down. Bring one leg up and come back down. Bring one leg up and come back down. Now, as you can see, I'm bringing one leg up and I'm trying to find the balance with this leg. Now, one thing that you have to think about is this. Imagine like having an um, a line which crosses your hands like this in the middle of your hands and it crosses your body all the way through the ceiling and you want to place your first leg on that line all right so 
hands here, line here, and the line crosses my body, it goes up, and I do wanna do something like, hop, placing my leg on that line. As you can see, I'm not balancing with this, I'm not in the balance yet. I'm just trying to find the balance here. Now, as you can see, I'm stable here. Once I am really stable, I can close my legs, I can find my balance. All right, it's, a, it's something that is separated. And like, because it is a separated, you have the time to understand the thing. All right, of course, of course, this is something really complex. If you're trying to learn your hashtag, you gotta think simple. And this exercise right here, is really simple because it allows you to control the way you're going up, to control the way you are kicking into the hamstring, and in this way you're controlling the movement. Can you see the difference? Now watch. Can you see how I need to use a lot of strength and concentration just, just to do that? Because as I go up, my body wants to move. Rather, if I really control this kind of movement here, I can control the way I'm going up. I can control the way I'm kicking up into the hands. I can control the way I'm moving my body much better compared to the first variation where I have to kick up and just, just hold that position real quick. It's not ideal. Of course, we can do both. I showed you, I can do both. But when you learn, it's really important that you find something you can st stick to, you can do over and over and over again. And this technique here really helps you. Now, the way I'm suggesting you walk on this technique here is just not like, if you can't balance yet, of course you don't wanna do that and balance. Don't expect that. But you do wanna expect something like going up and trying to stay there. So you do wanna repeat the movement, repetition is key here, all right? So you do wanna go up, hold, come back down, hold, come back down. You can repeat that six to 10 times. So for example, you do wanna go here. If you, if you don't hold the balance, so maybe you can do something like this. You don't wanna hold, you just try to hold. Of course, if you can find, then you're gonna stay there, all right? If you cannot find, if you fall over, you just cut wheel out and you just save the position, all right? If you can't go into the position because you are underbalanced, you're gonna be falling that way. If you can't hold the balance because you're falling over your, um, your back, you're gonna fall that way. You're gonna be doing a cut wheel. If you can find the balance there and stop in the position, perfectly fine, just stay there and then repeat the movement six to 10 times. All right, guys? So this is my personal view about the kick-ups. The way you're going to kick up into the handstand, it's really important to find your balance and to develop your handstands, all right? But uh, as I said, if you need any kind of help, please feel free to contact me and we can have a free chat, we can have a free talk and create a program together. But if you enjoyed this content and if you have any questions, doubts, or if you give this strategy a go, please do let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button and help me grow this YouTube channel, all right, guys? Now, with that said, that's all from the Flexibility Guy, which today is the Einstein's Guy, Coach Leah. Have a nice Einstein and see you in the next video. Bye.